go to the mesh click on mesh I am leaving the element size as default. I am not changing the element size. If you want to change it, you can change. You can add another properties to the mesh. I am leaving all the parameters same as. So, right click on mesh and click on generate mesh. Mesh is generated. Now we need to add a fix member and post member. To select a face, activate this command. Now select this face by clicking control. Also select the opposite face. Right click on it. Click on create name selection. Use name as post member. Click OK. Now we need to add a fixed member. For that, click on this face by pressing Ctrl. Also click on this face. Also select this member. Right click on it, go to the create name selection, named as fixed member, click OK. As you can see, the name selection is added to the specification tree. Now next step is to add fixed support. So click Write on static structure, go to the insert, click on fix support. Now in the detail of fix support, in scope, click on geometry selection, click on this icon and change it to name selection. Click over here, click on this icon and select as fix member. Our fix support is added. Now again, Right click on status structure, go to insert, click on force. In detail of force, in scope, click on geometry selection, change it as to name selection. Click over here, select force member. Now, we need to add a load in a direction. So, Change here by vector to component. We are adding the load in the x direction as 300 newtons. Now we also add a force. Now right click on static structural and say solve. Now we are going to find our solution. That is, we are going to check for the deformation and stresses. So, right click on solution, go to insert, go to deformation and click on total deformation. In total deformation, right click on it, go to evaluate all result. Yeah, it generated the results for the total deformation. You can see the results by the animation. Click on play button. It will show the results for the animation. For the front impact analysis, total deformation, max total deformation is as 0 0.0041 meter. And now you can also calculate the stresses. So right click on solution, go to insert, go to stresses and click on equivalent stress. Right click on equivalent stress. 
and click on evaluate all results. This is the result for the equivalence stresses for front impact analysis. Now you can see the results by the animation. So click on play button. It will show you the results. As per results, the max deformation for front impact is under the safe limit and not affect the safety of driver. Now, close this tab. 